Hi y'all, it's Brenda with Creations by Baby Doll. I hope everyone is doing wonderful this day. I am going to be doing a flip cup on a 7x14. Uh, I am going to be using the Master's Touch Silver, but this does have silicone in it. The Master's Touch Violet. The Folk Art Color Shift Purple Flash. And the Master's Touch Gray Purple. So let's get these. I'm going to spray my cups with the WD-40 silicone, the black canister. And I'm spraying these so the paint will flow down easily from the cup. Alright, so I think I'm going to go in the same order that I showed them in. All right, got my cups in video. So I'm gonna go with the silver. There we go. Oh, I've got something stuck in there, just a second. There we go. Oh my. And the violet. I'm gonna go with the all the purples today. My favorite color. And I love this color shift. It changes that little bit of a blue on there at a different angle. So I think that'll go well with the gray purple. Whoops. Get that off of there. And um, one more round, because I want the cups to be full, because it is a seven by 14. And so I'm, I'm not doing a five cup, so it's gonna need a little bit more paint. Ooh, wrong color, let's go with the violet. And the color shift. Now with this one, I am gonna be doing the spatula technique because it's so much easier, it's neater, and it's easier trying for the flip cut. Do a little design in it, merge the colors. Just gonna swirl around this one, see what. Ooh, that's a pretty little design. Okay, let's put that aside. Bring the canvas back down. So I'm going to take my spatula, just like if it was a canvas, flip it over, and the technique is you hold the cup in place and move the spatula. Alrighty, I'm getting the hang of it. Well, I better not say that because that's usually when I don't get the hang of it. All right, whoops, see like right there. So hold the cut, move the spatula. Move that over a little bit. I love the colors. That is so beautiful. Whoops. Let's see what we get. Start with this one. Oh, 
Got a lot of cell action going on with that silver. That's one of the reasons I put it in first because the weight of the pigments and the mica is heavier. So, oh, almost. Hey, three out of four ain't bad. Um, so that would do some lacing like that. Let's try to bring that down just a little bit on that side. All right, now we'll give it a torch. See if anything, pop these bubbles, see if anything else wants to come up. Oh, I'm loving those lacings. Oh, another air bubble. All right, so I'm gonna try to bring these colors down. I need the paints to meet up. So I'm just very slowly tilting, trying to watch how everything's going. Let's see if I can get that. Don't want to lose that lacing. Yeah, this one's going to be a slow process, I believe. Let's see. And I'm trying to bring the paint back to center. I am wanting to keep the weight of it right and also the lines right here. I like to keep them a little bit defined. Okay, let's go down here now. And go over to the side. There we go. Let's go back up on top. I'm loving the color shift over here. That is beautiful. Just want to help it out a little bit there. Sorry y'all, I'm being quiet. I'm trying to focus on what my paint's doing. I'm trying not to lose composition. And I'm really not wanting to lose that there. See if I can help it out a little bit. All right, so let's try bringing it back to get it back in the composition. some paint here help it flow and not get stuck and rolled over itself there we go oops sorry let me get back in camera alrighty so we got that corner we're gonna bring that paint back And I'm going down a little bit. Let's 
tilt out this corner now. Oh, this has turned out to be beautiful. Gorgeous, I'm loving it. All right, let's get that paint moving again. Oh no, is that an air bubble? Is that smudge? I hope it's not a piece of smudge. It is. Let's get that out of there. That's probably from the silver. All right, let's get that paint moving again. There we go. Trying to get that silver over the corner there. Let's help it along. There we go. Oh, this is turning out gorgeous. Now let's see, let's help out this corner. Beautiful. I am loving this. And the color shift, just changing it, the angle while I'm doing this. Now I'm rocking it because I don't have that much paint on here. I'm trying to get it to go down. But while I'm rocking it, that color shift is changing just a little bit while I'm doing it. I love it. Oh, all right, let's see. Let's. Try to bring it back a little bit this way. Try to get it back into composition. Oh, wow. That brought out some of the color shift underneath the silver there. Oh, that's cool. I'm loving that. Oh, no. That was stuck to the paper towel. Okay, let's see. That took up a little bit of paint. Let's see if I can... Nudge it over. Pay attention to what you're picking up, Brenda. Because that went straight down to the canvas. There we go. Oh. That interesting to it, though. Barely tell it was there. <laughs> oh, that is beautiful. Let's see, I'm gonna give it a little torch and see what maybe if anything else wants to come up. I like that speckled look and then you got the lace in here. I love that color coming up from under the silver. Oh, wow. That is beautiful. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Please do hit that like and subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can notify when I put up my next video. Thank y'all for joining me and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.